hello again and welcome back. I just wanted to come on because I think just a couple of days ago I started working on a 6x9 envelope, which this is a 6x9 envelope. Let me widen it out just a little. And I was making a journal cover. This was kind of in response to cat hands on mixed media morsels saying that we should do a creation using a couple of the techniques because that's what she was doing. Of course, a couple of days later, she did a six by nine envelope journal cover too, which I thought was funny. Um, and I wasn't going to record this. I was just going to do a project share at the end. But then I was watching um, Sarah uh, of My Serenity Crafts and she's doing painted uh, file folders, making them into pouches, and I really, really think that looks cool. So I think what I'm going to do, because this is the alcohol ink uh, with acrylic, and then it's got some blending solution that I used to move it around because I couldn't find my alcohol at the time. So, and I was thinking I was going to do some decoupage of fish and stuff on here, and so at the same time, I'd be utilizing my new papers and stamps with uh, Heartfelt Creations Under the Sea collection that I just bought some of. Um, for this, I took the envelope and I put one of these cutouts for the card fronts on the thing and I left the edges open. So now I have two additional little pockets inside the covers. And I have it double scored here for a single signature. And I'm going to have two pockets, one on each side. But now I'm thinking I'm going to take the outside of this cover and I'm going to do some of the paint work like Sarah was doing on her file folders. This does have a layer of Mod Podge on it, so it feels very plasticky right now. But I'm going to um, I'm going to come back and do some steps. But my next step I'm going to do is with some uh, white paint and a small brayer, and just do one of the mixed media morsels where you add you know a little bit of white brayered paint to tone down the background. And then I'm going to do some doodling, some stamping. I don't know if I'll do stenciling because I'm not a big fan of stenciling. I think it looks cool, but it's not my thing. Um, and some other stuff, and we'll see where this leads. And it'll still be a journal cover, but it's going to actually be a little different than I started it out to be. So I hope you stick with me. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And I'm sorry if this is a little dark. It's a very overcast day. And I haven't turned on my overhead light, because so I was thinking it might create some glare on this um, Mod Podge surface. After I put some white on it and get started, I'll, I'll add more light. So all I'm going to do is take my white paint and I'm going to put a little bit on my craft sheet. Because it won't take much because, like I said, this is only a 6 by 9 envelope. So it's fairly small. And then I'm just going to take this really tiny brayer. And I'm going to... I might spray a little water because that paint's really thick. And I'm going to put just a little bit on my brayer, and then I'm brayering it off on my mat a little bit, maybe. Not sure. Picking up a little more because it doesn't seem like there's a lot on there. And we'll see how this goes. And I'm just going to brayer it a little bit. And this is a little bit textured because of the, um, you know, the alcohol and the acrylic paint and all that stuff. So I'm going to put a little bit more, try not to drip. I don't want a whole lot. I don't want to totally wipe out the background. I may have to take a rag or something. A little bit on the flaps. I'm trying a new angle with my camera, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to that too. I'm going to take a little bit of paper towel and I'm just going to like blot it because now I've obliterated my background which I did not want to do. So let me get a baby wipe. 
a wet wipe, whatever anyone wants to call it. <clears throat> and just going to wipe away because I don't, I did way too much. Um, I like that. I kind of like that just as a shadow, a white shadowy thing that just kind of dulled it back down a little bit so I can add more to it. I'm just going to like squidge it around a little bit to take a little bit more off of some bright spots because it's probably all going to get covered anyway, sooner or later. So anyway, let's see. Okay, so that, I'm just going to take it and just kind of go back over it quick with really sheer. I think that's the story of it. It's, it's put it on, take it off, put more on, cover it up. <laughs> it's just playing and having fun. Um... There, I like that a lot better. That one worked. Okay, let me go dig through my stuff and see what else I want to do. Be right back. Hi. Um, it's a new day. I don't know if this is going to be enough light. It's just the light coming in the window behind me over my shoulder. And I am still working on a new kind of setup. It would probably be better if you were on my left side, but... I don't have enough room over there right now. I have to move some other things around. So I did take the journal and I did put more white on it. That's what we just went through. And now I've just taken a red pen because I want this to have the under the sea feel from the heartfelt creation stamps and things I just got. And I have stamped some things out that I will color and be cutting. And I did put together some tea dyed papers that I started a little bit. This is pretty much just the skeleton, except for a couple of pages that I did put some of the heartfelt creation under the sea paper on. So all of that is to come. But for now, I'm just drawing, and I don't know if you can see the red pencil here so far. I've got like one piece of coral drawn, and right now I'm working on, this is the front cover of the journal. So that's the inside front cover, and then this will be the front cover. So this first piece of coral I drew, let's see if I can get it up there, is going from the front cover over to the side and I don't want to draw it all upright I'm thinking this is going to be more of a collage type effect kind of like Sarah with my serenity crafts does with her file folders where they're kind of all over and it's just a, a collage graffiti type style which I really like I'm just still working on it but I do want quite a bit and I'm thinking over here what I might do is and I have my created with love over here, just a stamp with a little red heart. But I am thinking that one piece of the coral will come from the back cover and maybe meander on to the front and then go up this way and come back down. I am going to paint this with acrylic paint so you will see more of it. But then I may do some... We have a piece of coral that comes kind of down like here, and then meanders this way, and maybe onto the flap, I don't know, let me, let me paint some of this and we'll see how it goes. I have a dark red out, a bright red. And this is called fuchsia. And this is Laguna. And this is pumpkin orange. 
So I think we'll start with, I think I'm going to start with the fuchsia. And I'm just going to work from the caps and try to keep most of the water off until I figure out, I just want to wet my brush and then dry it off. And I want to keep it fairly dry until I figure out how well this is working. And I did not put another layer of Mod Podge on it. I probably should be using a filbert or a round to do this, but I have a small flat and it's going to be good enough. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pink on just to get the general idea. And I will have some fish um, collaged on, maybe a seahorse. Some shells, maybe. I've already been working on one of the big conch shells, and it has some glossy accents on part of it so I'm, and some stickles so I'm kind of waiting for it to dry so there is some coral and I think on top of that I'll put some of this well, no, I don't want the bright red first. I think I want the dark red first. And it will kind of blend in with the pink, which is good. I'm just playing. I'm, you know, not professional. I've never taken classes, which is probably pretty obvious to people who have that I just, I'm just, like I always say, I just wing it. I don't even really have a final plan. I'm just seeing where it takes me. Yep. Listening to my one dog growl at the other dog. He wants to play. He's got his toy, and she doesn't play, but he loves to play. <laughs> okay, here's that. Um... I think that's good. And now I'm going to take some of the bright red. And see if it makes any difference whatsoever. I have to use it out of the bottle because it doesn't seem... <laughs> Imagine what he'd be saying if he was a person. She can hear him dropping his toy. He's bumping it on the ground in front of her, trying to get her to react. <laughs> Sounds like a mountain lion. <laughs> They always wait till I start doing something and then decide that they should be playing. And that if I'm not going to play with them, they got to play with each other. And... 
Aww. Molly's a play dog. <laughs> Rowdy and Vixen are females and they're older and they don't really play. And Kibbles is an older male and he's not a play dog either. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to finish up this bright red. I'll let you have a look at it. And then I'm going to go see if I can make him a little happier. That's bright, isn't it? But it'll tone down. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, the dog had stopped, so let's hope he stays stopped. Um, this is what it looks like after it's dried, and I did push it a little bit to try to get it to bubble, to give it that kind of rough poorly look. And now I'm going to try taking, I think, my pit pen. Actually, I may do some green because red is green is actually the shadow color of red, and I want to kind of shadow these in here a little bit and give them a little bit of that coral texture, which Might help tone it down just a little. And I'm going to stamp over this and I'm going to do some other stuff over it. So it should be okay. And hey, I'm doing it for fun. So It's kind of all experimentation, just to see. I'm not making any, you know, I'm not following. <laughs> Any prescription. I guess I'm kind of considering coral to be the cactus of the sea. As, you know, as I'm drawing on it, it's just making marks to give it kind of shadows and some indentations and that kind of thing. And then I'm going to move over to this one. And of course, there's no sunlight under the sea, except at least probably not down so much where coral is growing unless it's growing in a coral shell for a reef or something. So who's to say, right? Now the cats are gonna get into the game. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I haven't restarted my clock since I came back from vacation. It had, you know, wound down. And I kind of miss it, and I haven't restarted it because I was trying to, you know, get back into these videos, and I know that it bothers some people, although some of you have said it usually bothers you, but that you don't mind, you don't mind my clock, which is nice, um, because it is a little bit of my husband that I still have. Um, and I will probably restart it. The other sound in the background that you can hear now is my laundry spinning. It should be running the vacuum right now, but I didn't feel like that. <laughs> I'm going to do some of this first. Just see, I'm just making marks on it and then rubbing it out. And making more marks and, and not even staying to the outside edge because coral is, is kind of spiky and bumpy and pitted. <laughs> and there goes the dog again. Only now he's found a cat to play with. So I think I may stop here. And um, Go break that up and maybe do some of my housework and then come back and 
see if I have inspiration to tone this down even more and go on to my stamping and my next step. Okay, another new angle. Can I keep trying? Um, now I've got everything dry um, and I am going to stamp. Now I've got like swirly things that are kind of supposed to be wings, I think, because I'm sorry if this glares because I have the overhead light on. This is a Flights of Fancy. I believe it's hot off the press. Probably got it at um, paperwishes.com. And so I'm going to stamp some of those around. And then I have a little shell that's part of an uh, old Stampin' Up! collection and an anchor. I'll show you the collection. You'll be able to see how old it is because the, this plastic is all yellow, but this is an old nautical set. And then I also have a bottle cap and a text stamp. So we'll see what happens. And I think I'm going to use some, hmm, I'll put some white paint out here. You can't really see it. I haven't really got enough room. I'm putting some white paint out and then some black paint. Which I will put right here, just above your line of sight. Let me see if I can widen this out just a little. There. Okay, so I've got some black and I've got some white and got my water here in this mess somewhere. The white's kind of thick and the black is kind of loose. So I think as far as my tech stamps go, I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black and I will just ink this up a little bit and then just put this around here. Let's see, it might be easier to do it like this. Put that down so I have a little more room. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit here. Actually, I'm going to take it the long way. I'll put it right here. There. Okay, and there's that. I do have a, a little flap that I have not got out over here, and I haven't done anything on it. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of text on there. And then maybe I will use that with these little shells. And it's kind of beating up a little bit because it's a little bit of a slick surface. Okay, I am going to dry this. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do some some bottle cap circles before I dry it. Just have to not try to try not to make too big of a mess because this is a little short cap. Of course, now that I want to do this, this is all I can find. Okay, 
big blaps going down. That's for sure. Knock some of it off, or try to. Go off the page a little. Rub it out. There. I think I'm going to take my baby wipe, which for a change I have one out, because I just had to wipe my hands up. I'm going to try to, of course I'm taking some of that text with me, but try to take some of that white off because I didn't want all that white on there. I think I might, maybe I'll use a pen cap for one of my markers and I'll do some black. Do a few little white ones too. That one came out kind of salad, solid. <laughs> okay, one more. And I'm going to wipe my cap off and I'm going to do some white with this cap. So I'm going to get my, get some of the black out of it. Usually I have some cotton swabs here, but I think I moved them over up to my other table. Let's see. Here, I'll put some small white ones around. Okay, let's see, let me dry this up, well, I want to put an anchor on, and I think I will do that in the black, I just want to kind of lay it down at the bottom here. Okay. I'm going to dry it. I'll be right back.